Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotuts.com. Today we're going to be using Adobe Dreamweaver CS5 to create a pretty simple drop down menu. This is what it's going to look like when we're done. It says 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If you hover over 1, you get another 1, 2, 3. If you hover over 1 again, you get another 1, 2, 3. If you hover over 2, you get untitled item, 3, untitled item, and so on and so on. And obviously you could change the names of all of these. Um, you could as, add as many drop down menus as you want. You could change the color and everything like that. So let's get started. I'm going to minimize this and open up Dreamweaver. Let's click on File, New. And let's make a new HTML page with a layout of none. And press Create. Now you should get something like this, just a blank white page. And then let's go to Insert and let's hover over layout objects and click on sprite menu bar and it says please save this document before inserting widgets press ok and just save it wherever you want I'm gonna save it as untitled 2.html to my desktop press save and then it's gonna ask if you want a horizontal or a vertical menu bar um, they're pretty much the same thing I'm just gonna select horizontal because I did that from the beginning and that's what our example looks like so press ok now you have something that looks like this. If you click on this little blue tab that says Spry Menu Bar, Menu Bar 1, then you'll get the properties and now you can mess with all of your settings. The first thing I'm going to change is the name of the menu bar. Instead of Menu Bar 1, I'm going to change it to Top Navigation. You could change your name to whatever you want. And then now we have Item 1, 2, 3, and 4. We could, let's say we have more than 4 items. What we could do is press this, this plus and then we're gonna get another menu item if we don't want a menu item then just press the minus and you'll delete it and you can also use these arrow tools to move the items up and down let's say we want item 2 to come before item 1 just select item 2 press the up arrow and just like that it comes before item 1 but we don't want that so I'm gonna press that down and let's start messing with the settings of these items I'm gonna change the name of item 1 to 1 and then we could also change the link uh, we could add a title and a target, but I'm just gonna leave those blank just to save time and then let's go to item 2 change that to 2 item 3 change that to 3 item 4 change that to 4 Okay, now let's select item 1 and if you click on item 1 You'll see in the next box over item 1.1 item 1.2 and item 1.3 We could if we click on those we could do the same exact thing change the text of the name uh, the link title and target and we could use the same tools to add more items or move them up and down. And let's say we want another menu bar uh, if you hover over item 1.1. We just click on item 1.1, click this plus, and as you can see, we now have a third menu bar. And we could do the same thing, use the plus and minus, um, use the arrows, to change the text, link, title, and target. So I'm going to leave this like that. Once you have everything um, titled and everything, all the links and everything made the way you want it, we're going to go to window and click on CSS styles. Now we're going to change the color and everything like that. Now you're going to see spry menu bar horizontal.css. Double click on that and you're going to get a bunch of um, things that pop up. Uh, the, you only really want to mess with two things to change the color and everything. Scroll down a little bit and you'll find something that says ul.menubar horizontal space a. Click on that. Now this is going to give us the power to change the background color, um, the color of the text, and even add a background image if you want. So to change the background color, just click right here and then just change it to whatever you want. Let's choose a light blue color. And then to change the color of the text, choose um, the one that says color, and then you could choose just change the color of the text just like that. I'm going to change it to black. And then if you want, let's say you could even add a background image. Instead of a background color, you could add a background image. To do that, click on Add Property and type in Background-Image. And then now it's going to give you the power to select a background image. Just click on the folder to browse, and then you could select a background image. I don't have one prepared right now, so I'm just going to leave the background color. And let's go back to CSS Styles, and I'm going to make sure to delete the background image because I already have a background color set. Next, what you want to do is scroll down just a little bit more, um, skip the one right next to that, and then let's go to the one right after that. 
So skip one and then click on the one right after that. It's going to be a really long name, something like UL dot menu bar horizontal space A dot menu bar item hover comma and so on and so on. Now this is going to give us the opportunity to change the background color um, and the font color when you hover over it. So let's change the background color to a darker blue when we hover over it and let's keep the color to let's keep the text color to black. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to close this and going to go to File, Preview in Browser. And as you can see, we can't preview that in browser yet because we need to save it. So let's click on Save As. And let's save this as Untitled 2 to our desktop. Press Save. And I'm going to replace this. Go to File. Now if we go to Preview Browser, as you can see, you can preview it in your browser of choice. I'm going to preview it in Safari. All right, and there you go, this is our menu bar. If you hover over one, you get item 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.2, and 1.3. If you hover over item 1.1, you get untitled item. And as you can see, we have that light blue color that we selected, and when you hover over it, you get that darker blue color that we selected. And that's pretty much our menu bar. So I'm gonna minimize this, and I wanna show you guys one last thing. Minimize this too. Uh, let's click on the uh, Sprite Assets folder that got made. Um, just go to wherever you saved it as and you should see a Sprite Assets folder. And if you double click on Sprite Menu Bar Horizontal.CSS, you'll get this. Um, you'll get just this bunch of CSS coding. Now, the reason I'm showing you guys this is because when we were um, changing the CSS coding right here and we went to CSS Styles and we double clicked on this and we got all of this stuff, we don't really know what all of this stuff represents. I just showed you guys what two of those things do. But if you double click on the Sprite menu bar horizontal.css and you open it up, you could read what everything represents. For example, let's read what ul.menubaractive represents. As you can see right above it, it says set the active menu bar with this class, currently setting z index to accommodate IE rendering bug. And that's what it pretty much does, and you could change z index to whatever. And let's read the next one ul.menubar horizontal space li. And this represents menu item containers, position children relative to this container, and are a fixed width. So just like that, you could read what everything does, and you could change everything, and you'll know what everything does. So when you change something, you'll automatically see it happen, and then you won't be afraid to change anything because you automatically know what it does. So that's it for this video tutorial. We just made a pretty simple menu bar using Adobe Dreamweaver CS5. Um, and yes, you guys might ask, this also does work with different versions of Adobe Dreamweaver. That's it for this video. This is Octotuts.com, and until next time, I will see you guys later.